even if you wear a puffy jacket, like a big puffy jacket, you don't have belts or anything. The idea is that your the shape of your shoulders are showing, and that's the baruch. Assalamu alaikum. I just wanted to quickly come here and just update. I filmed the video and I'm just editing it. I'm not sure if I post it, if I refilm refilm it or something. But I just want to come in here and just catch up because it's taking forever. But things are going crazy on TikTok. Um, there's this trend going around or a fitna going around about jacket over a bias, and it's just like has blown way out of proportions like it all started that somebody posted video about how it is the barrage to wear your jacket on your over your abaya so of course tiktok got crazy about that there are a lot of sisters who are making like joke videos about wearing the kind of like a tighter abaya and then putting the jacket under it or just putting the jacket and then putting a jilbab but you put the jilbab on your shoulders and stuff and it's just like way, way off, um, way unnecessary. I do understand the the outrage, and I, I'm a person who have been wearing like jackets over my jilbabs and abayas. The premise of that whole concept is that even if you wear a puffy jacket, like a big puffy jacket, you don't have belts or anything. The idea is that your the shape of your shoulders are showing, and that's the baruj. That's showing the shape of your uh, shape of your body, and that's basically for them it's haram. But the premise is that they they are just there are some people who are just saying things that they are saying, oh, it's it's haram to wear the jacket over your abaya, but then they don't premise it how you can then keep warm, how can you keep warm, and how can you use it. Like you, can, you can have like a jacket over and then you can have like a scarf or a khimar like this that covers the shape of your shoulders and you can still have the jacket over your abaya. Like you, if you have an abaya, you can wear your jacket over your abaya and then have like a khimar like this over kind of like the jacket. This is like a short khimar that um, covers the shape of your shoulders. For example, that's like one. Or if you have like a, like a winter scarf, that you cover your head and your shoulders with, something like that. Um, but the, where I think people go wrong in uh, the whole conversation is that these people are talking about one thing and these people are talking about another thing. So when you say abaya over your jilbab, over your abaya, me, people have different idea and different perception of what that means. We will go through that some other time, but like for some people... About the people already wear tighter abayas and a headscarf for that's so that's for them is like crazy how on earth I would I put it under my abaya what what am I supposed to wear if I can't wear a winter jacket over my over my clothes I'm gonna freeze so the whole premise is not everybody's wearing jilbabs not everybody's wearing jilbabs and not everybody are aware of the rulings of jilbab for example and I'm I'm just talking here as a as nobody, and I as somebody who makes mistakes with this, and this is one of the biggest struggles for me to wear the jacket over my abayas and stuff. I do I used to wear like a puffier jacket in Finland, for example, when it was like minus ten, minus seven. Now it's like it was minus twenty one today in Finland when I was talking to my mom. So in those type of climates, like you can't just put like a light down jacket under your abaya or under your jilbab and then just call it quits like you're gonna freeze so there are like there are nuances and i this is why people should just take time when they post things but sometimes people just like post oh by the way it's it's bad to wear abayas over take over abayas and stuff no jackets over abayas but another thing i think people go really left with is that that they just they just make a mockery out of it, that they just make mockery. And it just goes way over when there's a ruling, there's a ruling. And when Allah has decreed something, we should not make mockery out of it. So we have to be very careful with that. And then there's just the fact that some people in some of the TikTok videos said that they've heard comments like ironing your clothes is the debaraj. So apparently I'm not doing the debaraj today because 
I'm not, I haven't ironed my niqab today, but it, it, people just go overboard and just make it sometimes very difficult for sisters when it is already difficult uh, to wear and dress Islamically for many, many people. So just like, let's just make it easy. I'm not saying like, oh, let's just like accept everything, but just don't, don't go around and saying like ironing your clothes is tabaruj. Tabaruj basically means like you're dressed but naked or you shape your beautifying your you're beautifying your outfit and you're showing your shape and basically something like that so we should just be kind of careful with that and this is just like my two cents on it and it is very difficult it would be very difficult to I know it's possible to do that to wear your jacket under your khimar and under your jilbabs I have a friend who does that I know many people who do that for me it was kind of like it's it comes many Many issues comes with that, especially it depends on the climate that you are living in. In Finland, for example, the snow is not always dry. Sometimes the snow is very wet, and it's you are going to be soaked if you're if you're going to be in a blizzard, and the snow melts on you, or it's a very wet snowfall, and and the rain on on top of that, the rain. Not everybody can wear an umbrella or like hold an umbrella. We all we have like strollers or bags or something like that. So it's, it has like just so many nuances, and when we give advice to sisters that, oh, by the way, be careful with the jackets, please provide also f- alternatives, please provide solutions already, think ahead, th- think like three steps ahead and provide solutions for sisters so they don't have to be here and just like thinking and stressing, okay, what am I supposed to wear now then? So I'm, I'm going to be soaked. And stuff, and people, Muslims need to provide also products that Muslim sisters can wear in those climates. For example, if it rains, provide us with something. Provide us with a scarf or khimar that I can put over my khimar that protects me from water, protects me from the snow, keeps me warm, and I can easily take it off and on when I'm going into the supermarket. I don't want to toast myself. I don't want to like suffocate in heat. Like jacket is just easy to take on and off in those climates. Yeah, let's just be sensible and let's just provide alternatives for people and let's not make mockery out of the religion and the rulings of Allah and and let's just pace carefully and have a good day. Salam.